We got some boxes today. Uh, what's always fun with these boxes, uh, moving them out of the collection, is that they have writing on them telling us what they are, but uh, there is no guarantee of what's actually inside these boxes. Uh, I've taped this one and I was just ready to open it up, pop it open, we didn't shrink wrap these. The deeper we go in the collection, we're gonna have some that we shrink wrap and move, and some that we, uh, we already know are gonna be complete gems. So they'll be boxed up in the movement. So we'll be doing some unshrinking and some unwrapping. Another day, lunchtime at Western. Uh, I've owned the shop for many years now, and I just get extremely overwhelmed with joy every time I open up new boxes of products. Uh, even when I know exactly what's coming, just to check out the board and smell them, move them around, stand on them. Uh, so opening up these collectible boards yeah, in a similar fashion is just uh, amazing to me. Uh, this is our, oh crap, yeah. Uh, only 10 ever made. This is 8 and 10 of 10, signed by uh, Tony Hawk, signed by Shamashi, which is the photographer. Doing Tony Hawk doing trick that he rarely does, authenticated by Tony Hawk. Um, so this is uh, a Tony Hawk deck uh, that was a photo series with the photographer. Uh, Tony did some work with us with uh, filming a few things at our LA shop. This is awesome. I'm not sure if these are for sale. These are extremely rare. If these mean the world to you, please heat us up. But this probably is the kind of stuff that we're gonna be adding to our museum that uh, we're not really talking about yet, but uh, keep a head out for that. Um, there's awesome skate museums uh, for different eras, uh, going back to the 60s and 70s and 80s. I feel like with what we have here, we're hitting on this whole new era. Um, and something that we'd love to share with people for many, many years to come. And uh, something like that, it's just like a unique piece. I mean, it's Tony Hawk, dude. It's like, come on, the guy's an OG, a legend, a uh, polarizing figure for years, but I think all that's passed now that we just realize everyone's human and like, let's just, let's just live our lives, dude. Tony Hawk's awesome. Um, always love hearing him talk and tell stories. Um, I don't have time to listen to podcasts as much as I want to, but I always love what he does with like Jason Ellis. Um, man, just tons of great stories over the years. But uh, Legend, Hawk, that's awesome. So box one, as described, uh, this box uh, says, signed dwindle decks, almost dark star cliche. So let's see what we got. We got a Rodney Mullen, to PV Skate Park, signed by Rodney Mullen. PV Skate Park signed Rodney Mullen deck. Um, how about a Cooper Wilt signed deck? Cooper Wilt, or almost. How about we got two of them? Cooper Wilt signed almost decks. Dark Star. Oh, Ryan Desenzo. Dark Star. A little purple skull. Gnarly Dark Star graphic. Oh, Chris Haslam, 2003. Chris Haslam, 2003. So they're making these impact support almost decks going back that long. That's, that's very cool, man. Very cool. I'm assuming it says 03 is in the year. Uh, which would be cool for him to have added in, but 03 might be his tagline too. No promises on the timeline there, it just kind of looks like it. So, very cool. How about a Joy Brzezinski for cliche with the buck teeth signature? Um, awesome. Shout out to Joy Brzezinski. Um, another Ryan Desenzo purple, uh, just an RR Dark Star graph graphic signed by Desenzo. Um, and then, well, PB Skate Park must have signed two of them because there's another one for Robbie. And then another signed Joey Brzezinski deck. Uh, very cool. Some signed cliche decks there. We'll take some photos and get those up on the site. Um, if anything is telling us anything in this batch of boards, is that we have a Baker series that has 10 decks in it. Um, it could be neck face, it could be all kinds of stuff, so let's check it out. Looks like, this looks like that Sammy Baca Falls, Sammy Baca Falls 40 ounce. Here's the Jeff Linos. Um, just got a bomb Baker deck, very cool. Um, Andrew 
Reynolds Spark Bucks. Um, it's got an alligator dressed like a skater with Starbucks in his mouth. I uh, don't know when that passed the art department. Is. <laughs> but, uh, oh, yeah. Andrew Reynolds Starbucks cup. Sick. So that's three of the series we have. The Baca uh, was in a previous one. How about the Spanky, the KSL, Marlboros? That is sick. And then Brian Herman, Coyote up in the desert. High desert homie Brian Herman deck. And then, oh man, uh, this Terry Candy deck kills me. Um, this is the stage at Bixby Park. I used to do this gap. It was shorter. You used to be able to just skate off the stage. They made it small and they made it super big. Um, a ton of events. They used to do a lot of action there. Cherry Park or Bixby Park, which is, the locals call it Cherry Park, but it's technically Bixby Park. Um, definitely a legendary spot in Long Beach and the world, to be honest. I've seen a million people in there. Uh, this is all part of a similar series. And this is uh, it's supposed to be Where You're From series, right? Uh, Reynolds with the Gator, Herman with the High Desert, uh, TK with LV, and then this is uh, Dolan as a kangaroo repping Australia. Pretty classic. And then uh, Zafransky in Hollywood, the Night Owl, the Bat. Uh, very cool. And then uh, Nuge at the Pool Hall. Nuge loves pool. Shout out to my homie, uh, Brian and Chops. They did an homage there to the pool, the billiard hall. Um, Chops makes custom handmade uh, skateboard pressed uh, pool cues that are awesome. Uh, check out Chops. Uh, and then here's a Brian Herman, uh, the spliff, rolled up J. Like I said, looks like Fawz art. Very cool. Two series from Baker. Um, very, very cool. Uh, this is a chocolate girl four star deck with with no marking on it. So this is a full mystery box right here. Um, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Label top deck is a uh, oh yeah a rag doll black label deck. <coughs> Got ragdoll at the top here, just kind of sweating it out. Black label, ragdoll, very cool. And then uh, looks like we've got some warnings here. Corrosive Melcher, Melcher, black label. Wow, it's called six blocks, and this is a six ply skateboard. Whoa, I don't know what's going on with that, but that's crazy, man. Um, Another one with perfect shrimp, uh, shrink, uh, Patrick Melcher deck. Melcher was a friend of the shop, so we saw him a lot. Uh, very cool dude. Uh, another one of those, uh, no, this is a different series. This is a Spanky deck for Baker. Just a unique graphic here. We got the Baker's deck. And then looks like a class, classy real deck with a picture of Ernie Torres on the bottom, but it's a uh, Remendetta control free construction. Damn, super gnarly, kind of like a Raiders play, but uh, maybe a little something more than that. Very cool, Peter Remendetta deck, using a skateboarder. <clears throat> Another one back to back with real Remendetta. <coughs> Excuse me, uh, some red graphics there. Very cool. And then last one in our bunch is a, uh, Dustin Dolan, piss drum deck. This is a very fun time in skateboarding. It was the middle finger straight to you through their style, through their skateboarding and their attitude. Piss drums, super rad, cool. Tony Hawk, interesting your rare photo deck, signed Wendell decks, two Baker series, some unique decks going back to the zeros and the teens, um, the aughts and the teens, very cool. These unboxing are going to be very fun. A girl chocolate box with black labels, reels, and bakers in it. Well, who would imagine? All right, dudes. I'm going to go put these back in the warehouse, get the catalog going. You know the drill. Shoot us a message. Um, it's always fun. It's always a pleasure. Have an awesome day. Let's talk skateboarding. We'll see you guys soon. Talk to you.